Wow, just imagine how much airbags this car can support. Like, that's a quality of airbags you got there. Like, just, wow. You can see them on the outside. Another thing is, how the frick do you get in this thing? Welcome to the Banana Mobile, everybody. It can hold four people. It's so freaking awesome. And another thing is, I don't think I'd ever see a banana that would look like this in my entire Yep. Just when I thought they couldn't get weirder. It's, um, my brain hurts. What's going on here? Um... What? Man, just imagine how much wheelies this thing could pop. Wait. It doesn't pop wheelies. It pops heelies! Man, this is the greatest freaking military truck I have ever seen in my life. I don't even know what the frick this is even made for. Um... Wh wh what is that? And what is this made out of? And what's its purpose? What is going on in this? Um, so, yeah. Does this car have a purpose? I don't think I want to drive this. I mean, sure, it looks like a nice BMW, but... I don't think I want to drive this. Okay, this looks like something... Straight out of a action movie. Like, look at this car. Imagine how much- See these spoilers on this van? That could probably support, like, 50 people on, on all those spoilers combined. That is a lot. Especially judging by how much people could be inside the car as well. This car could probably hold up to 50 people. The heck? What is this? What? This looks like an old car, but a new car. Okay, I can imagine these being in any action movie at any time. Star Wars fans must stop. Just stop. All the movies are over, okay? No more movies are coming out. The Last Jedi came out last month, okay? So The Last Jedi is basically last month. Dude, come on. This, this movie isn't even popular anymore. I mean... Okay, it's kind of popular, but whatever, man. Um, I have two questions. One, which way is this car facing? And two, what company made this? Anybody want to go in my P-Mobile? Oh, wait, I forgot. It's only a one-person car. <laughs> you guys, check out my new ride. It's totally going to win the NASCAR racing. Like, look at this thing. Who doesn't want to look at this delicious car? I am so going to win NASCAR. Wait. What happens if you, um, you know, something happens in the engine? You have nothing to lift up the engine. Oh, frick. You know, I bet I know exactly this car's speed. The speed of a snail. Man, it's that simple. And they said drivers nowadays are freaking driving like snails. Well, everybody should just get this car if they're driving like a snail. So you know that Baby Shark song that is retarded? Yeah, um, yeah. This is what Baby Shark became. He became a truck. He went on land, and he got, he got this video... Um, at least five likes. Give this video five likes for this truck. Congratulations for being super cringy. You know, out of every car I've seen on this list so far, like, this has got to be the most delicious one. Look at this! Um. Um, y y yeah, uh, this... What are all these exhausts going through under that car? Um, how does this car drive? But still, I just don't understand why this exists. Another shoe mobile. It's gonna be pumping some more Heelys. All hamster lovers, well. All hamster and car lovers, well. 
There you go. There you go. You thought smart cars were small? <laughs> Look at this thing! It's a windshield wiper is half the size of the car! And it's door handle! And apparently Volipatepike <laughs> made this weird looking... Good, what do I even call it? I don't even know what to call it. A 18 year old's newest toy. Boom. Okay, I have one question to ask. What the frick is this car made of? Again, like, what is what is going on here? Even the inside of the tires. What is going on? Um, yeah, I have I have multiple questions. And like, what? How, how much questions do I have? <clears throat> you see, this car is bad for one reason only. Well, two reasons. It doesn't, it lacks the aerodynamic shape of the car. And two, where the frick are the tires on this thing? Do they have to lift this car up, flip it upside down, and change the tires if their tires get popped? Like, th the car's tires get popped. You know, you're basically this car is gone. This monstrosity will be gone. Yeah, hopefully your tires pop soon. So yeah, it's all hope for this guy. Um, I don't even know what to say right now. Um, yeah, it does oh I know what this car's purpose is. I was about to ask what's this car purpose, but I know exactly what it is. It's for a nerd. Rock and roll band. Man, Chevy, you have really let yourself go. Well, haven't seen any of these in a while since we started the video. You know, after seeing a lot of cars, I feel like this one deserves some credit. I mean, imagine how much freaking prizes they had to win at a fair. Like, wow. But there's one, there's one downside to it, you know. You see... It rains, you know, all those are going to be gone. Little toad there on top of the car. It, it's, it's not good. And another reason is... One little splash of a puddle, all of those stuffed animals are gone. That and just... Well, basically, what car made this is another question I have. But seriously, like... You gotta give this guy some credit for all of his insane stuffed animal collection. Okay, um... Is this car made for drag racing? Because it looks like that to me. What the frick? This doesn't even look like it should be on the road or sand. Seems like it should be... Oh, it doesn't look like it should be on a road or sand or not even a desert. It should be... In... The 1870s. Boom. Welcome to the Skechers Mobile! You know, I've seen a lot of tourist buses in my time. And I mean a lot. And I've never seen one with such style like this. Who can get a better photo? This one. Who needs those stupid Google Earth cars? Who needs just the tourist vans with people looking out, taking pictures? This is the best one of 2018 or whenever the frick this was made. You know, I haven't asked this question in a while, but what the heck is this car made of? Um, uh, okay. Huh, wonder what kind of superhero is using this car. <clears throat> Aqua nerd. Do, 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 do. Alright, you see, if I was in a demolition derby, and, uh, you know, I come across this guy with this car in a demolition derby challenge, you know, I I'd quit. I you know, I'd quit right away. Because, um, this guy looks like the son of Max D. Maximum Destruction. The monster frickin' truck. Seriously, man, what is this? See, this is a car you'll see in Area 51 a whole lot. You'll see these a lot in Area 51. 
So is this like, um, you know, if I have to count how much feet long this looks, this looks like about 175 feet long. And another thing is, is this like, I don't know, 5 to 10 limos put together in one giant limo? What is going on? Limousines, come on! What is going on? What is what is this? How how do sharp turns go with this car? I have that question to ask. How do sharp turns go? I don't think this thing can turn. I think it's just made for a a straight track. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And yes, I did get this off of a YouTube video, as some of you guys have might notice. And I just don't want to get copyrighted for this. But is by the YouTuber Did You Know? And um, go check out this video. It is really cool. I didn't do it in order because I just didn't want to get copyrighted myself. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you.